Casanova reaction. That's a reaction that converts alcohols to other functional groups. And the basic example that we have here is this basic alcohol and this carboxylic acid using these two reagents that uh, creates this product that has inverted stereochemistry at that center carbon. And the two reagents that we're using are DEAD, which is diethyl acid di dicarboxylate, which has this structure down here, and triphenylphosphine. So the mechanism of this reaction starts with the reagents. So the, the triphenylphosphine is gonna attack this nitrogen in the DEAD, and these electrons are gonna come over here to make that nitrogen negative. And now you have these two charges on those two atoms. So this phosphorus is positive and the nitrogen is negative. And using one of the reactants, this nitrogen is gonna come over and grab this proton. And this bond is gonna go over onto the oxygen to make this negative. And that molecule is gonna come in later in this step where that negative oxygen is important. So now we have this molecule with just this one charge up here. And this is our second reactant, which is gonna attack up here on this phosphorus to get rid of that positive charge, making this oxygen positive, and this phosphorus now has five bonds. And a base in the solution is gonna come over here and grab this proton. These electrons are gonna come make a double bond in between oxygen and phosphorus, and the rest of the DEAD is going to leave. And that's gonna leave this nitrogen negative, so then what will happen after this, um, not in the main part of the reaction, is that this nitrogen, which is now negative, will have uh, those electrons move over to reform that double bond. A base will grab that proton and that will regenerate the DEAD. So back to the main part of the reaction, we now have this molecule here with this positive oxygen double bonded to the phosphorus. And this negative molecule that we made up here in this step is really important here. So this negative oxygen is gonna come attack this center carbon and then the rest of this is gonna leave. So these, these electrons are gonna come over here onto the oxygen to get rid of that positive and then that molecule will leave. And that forms our product here with the inverted, inverted stereochemistry at that center carbon. So the example from the literature is a total synthesis of this molecule called bicellar biocide. And that's a molecule that they found has inhibitory, inhibitory properties towards cancer cells. So this is the full molecule and it's from this source down here. But within that synthesis, there's a step that involves the Mitsunova reaction, where it takes this molecule and this up here, which has this alcohol, and these two reagents that we used in the previous example to form this molecule. So up here, this whole part of the molecule is not really involved in the chemistry of this reaction, but here we have that carboxylic acid, which we saw in the basic example, and here we have that oxygen. So what's happening is this oxygen is going to be replaced by this whole, this, sorry, alcohol is going to be replaced by this whole molecule here, which is from this carboxylic acid. So here we have a practice problem with the Mitsunova reaction. So see if you can, on your own, take these two reactants and these um, reagents and figure out the product. And if you work through the mechanism, you'll see that something happens at this central carbon. So don't forget about uh, paying attention to stereochemistry in the mechanism. In the product, we have that carbonyl that's replaced the alcohol, and at the center carbon, there's inverted stereochemistry.